I'm Ty Davis with GitLab. Today, here to talk to you about how Atlassian, Jira, and GitLab CI CD come together to have visibility from a project management perspective from using Jira into GitLab CI CD capabilities and how you can bring those together using both tools. Let's jump in the demo and see how we can do that using Atlassian Jira's deployment capabilities uh, within Jira Cloud. So here I am in uh, Atlassian Jira. We're looking at my board right now. And on the left side, we have a panel with a few different options to choose from. What I wanna do is enable deployment. So I'm going to go to project settings, down to features. And then I'm gonna enable deployments. If I go back to my project, I should now see deployments here. Uh, in this case, if I click on deployments, it's going to allow me to um, add another CI CD tool. That's what I want to do for GitLab. So if I go in here, it's going to give me two options connect to other providers, it'll take you down to gitlab.com for Jira Cloud. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And what this is going to have me do is install the uh, GitLab app as part of the Atlassian Marketplace. So let's get started. In this case, I already have it um, installed. And so what we need to do now is align a namespace with, with that, that project that we have inside of Jira. You can see I have two different namespaces here where I can get uh, very specific using in, inside of GitLab, uh, where I go down to um, groups and subgroups and to a specific subgroup that will have a cadence of projects underneath it. I can go to a specific project, or in this case, I have uh, just tech marketing, which is the, the parent, the top level group. And by adding that namespace, it's going to give me access to all subgroups and projects that fall within that uh, tech marketing uh, parent group. If I go into add namespace, you'll see a little bit more what I mean by the different choices that I have. Um, I can link specific groups here. Let's say uh, in this case, Healthcare Provider Incorporated. Uh, if I linked that, uh, you can see that now um, I have access uh, inside of Jira to uh, that, that group and specific project of 501c3 billing inside of GitLab. So from here, I can go back into my project. Again, I have visibility to that board, I have deployments, but still uh, I don't have anything connected here. And uh, that is because uh, I haven't done uh, some configuration inside of uh, GitLab. So I navigate back into GitLab. If I go down to settings, this is where I can go to integrations. And this is where I can enable the Jira integration um, that's specific to my project. So I'm going to enable Jira transitions. Um, you can have move to done, so automatically transition uh, Jira issues to the done category. Uh, let's say once a merge request is completed. We can also use custom transitions. So each of these transition IDs will be directly related to a transition within um, Jira. So that could be in progress or done. Uh, what we can use is smart commits. Uh, when we're doing a commit or a merge request within GitLab to help move uh, something uh, from one transition to another. Down here, we need to grab the web URL. Once we have that web URL, we can add that in here. So next we go to Jira API URL. Uh, this is, if it's different from the web URL, you can insert that there. In this case, I'll leave it blank because the web URL is similar. We have a username and an email. And then now we need to generate a uh, password or API token, what I can do is go to id.atlassian.com and this is where I can create an API token to insert there. I'll put logical API, that, copy that, and then back over in GitLab. I'll paste that. Then here uh, we have a view Jira issues in GitLab so you can see your Jira issues from within GitLab, if I enable that, 
to GitLab is you can now enable Jira issues uh, and you can create uh, vulnerabilities from um, security reports that you find in GitLab. And uh, if there's a vulner vulnerability uh, reported and found, uh, what you'll see is you'll have that capability to create a vulnerability specific issue that will be uh, created over in Jira. And that's where you need the project key right here, at, which is required to generate those issue types. So if I were to go back over uh, to Jira, I go, uh, the issue key is LAR. Come back over here and I add that in. Let's test the settings. Connection successful. I can see here that there's a just Jira issue type. Um, there's different choices I can uh, have. If I want to make this custom, I can create uh, a vulnerability back in Jira so that uh, it comes through um, as a vulnerability in Jira when there is one detected within GitLab. I'm going to save those changes. Now we have that set up within GitLab. We have that uh, integration activated and we can begin uh, doing some uh, work or changes inside of GitLab, kicking off our CI CD. And what we'll see is that Jira will bring over that visibility into the deployments that we're doing. So let's go ahead and, and this is just real, real simple. Um, I can import some issues. Uh, I'll create a, an issue here. Let's uh, go back into Jira and take this here. Demo purposes, I'm just going to take that. Add that to the title. And then we have a couple different things that we can get here. Um, so sign it to myself. What we can do is create a merge request. And what I'm going to do is create a merge request that's tied to this issue. And if I open up that web IDE, we're going to make a nice, simple change so that we can see that a pipeline has been kicked off inside of GitLab, and then we'll have that visibility back in Jira. So in this case, let's just change this color. Commit. Now, this is an important piece. We talked about uh, smart uh, commits earlier. This is where I can now connect this commit, this branch, and what's next is this merge request to that Jira issue. So if I go back in here, uh, I see this uh, LAR-1 is the ID for this issue. That's what I'm going to put inside my commit message. That's going to be a smart commit, and that's going to uh, connect this commit to that issue within Jira. Let's go ahead and say that it's in progress. Let's go over to that merge request that's uh, associated to that commit. Um, here I can see that a pipeline's been kicked off. And if I go back over into Jira, I can now see that that, uh, that issue moved from to do to in progress. If I click into this, I'm gonna have visibility into uh, in the comment section. This is going to pull from GitLab the activity. Over here in the development, I can see that I have a commit. If I connect into that, here's that commit. This will redirect me over uh, back into GitLab, but I still don't see my merge request. So what I'm gonna do here uh, is I'm gonna go back to the deployments and then I'm gonna see, oh, I still don't have anything on the deployments page. And why is that? That's because that merge request needs to be connected. And uh, what needs to be done is we go back in and we edit that. Again, the smart commits piece. I believe it is LAR dash one. Let's save that changes. You can see that it's now an issue in Jira. If I come back over here, click into this that specific issue, I now have that pull request that's tied uh, directly to the LAR-1 issue in Jira, it's going to have, um, again, a connection to GitLab. If I were to go back over, opens it up in GitLab. 
Now let's go back to deployments and see if I have any visibility over there. Over in deployments, we can see that uh, the issue is now connected. It's now showing the results from the pipeline that was ran within GitLab. Uh, we can see more information if we'd like. It takes us to the deployment section. If I want to click into this, this is going to take us back to that specific project within GitLab. Uh, it's going to give me visibility into the pipeline. I can see that it failed at the review stage. And so now you have that traceability from both JIRA and GitLab. If you're using your project management uh, inside of JIRA and you want visibility into that CI CD piece with an issue that maybe a developer's taken on and they've built some code around it, maybe they had a vulnerability submitted and it's being worked on and it's, uh, you know, it's that change is made and it's kicked, it's committed and it kicks off a pipeline. You would now have that visibility using JIRA deployments and pulling in that GitLab CI CD information. This has been Atlassian's Demo Den. I am Ty Davis with GitLab. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And to find out more information on how GitLab and Jira work together, you can either go to gitlab.com and search GitLab Jira or go on Jira and do the same as well. Thank you again. Thank you.